Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Welcome to another vlog inspired by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is which would be your favourite fictional world to live in? Ugh. Tricky question. Uh, as I've mentioned before, my all-time favourite subsection of the Great Sea of Literature is the Lovecraftian mythos. However, uh, living in a universe that really doesn't care about you, where the trait of the universe is that you will experience the destructive indifference of reality, is exactly the kind of place I'd choose to not live in if I had the choice. I'm very happy that the world I live in isn't the mythos one. Similarly, I would love uh, 40k fiction, particularly Dan Abnett, but a universe in which destructive gods lurk on just on the other side of the veil of reality and planets exist purely to provide weapons for the constant war. Again, living in a religious dictatorship that's been in a permanent state of war for millennia. Mm, no, I, that's, um, that again is something I read because I don't live in that kind of universe. And so it's fun and different to explore with the ability to close the pages and go back to somewhere more pleasant and have a cup of coffee. Oh, so, fictional world to live in. Um, it would depend on whether it was me living in it or whether I got to pick to be a character as well, because I think anyone can pick a favourite character from fairy tales and be that person and get your happy ending. So being Prince Charming, sort of finding and waking the love of your life and then getting to have happily ever after. That would be a good place to live in if I lived in it. But in the back of my head, I there's a part of me that doesn't think you value things that just come to you as much as things that you've actually worked towards. So living in a universe where I got my happily ever afters forever and always would be great. But moving from being who I am into a universe where things just where I completed a challenge and everything just went right forevermore wouldn't be as satisfying for me as actually getting those things through my hard work if I'd known this universe first where things of meaning usually take effort. So I think fiction I read for escapism or for exploration of other viewpoints that aren't mine. So there isn't a fictional world that I prefer to this one enough to give this one up because there isn't anything fundamentally intrinsically wrong with my life that makes me want to not have this one. I'm happy with it. It's not perfect, but there aren't really any fictional worlds where everything is perfect. So what would be your favourite fictional world to live in? Uh, I'm going to dive into theories of perception and mind here and claim that because my eyesight isn't perfect and my ears aren't perfect and what I see and hear and so on is merely interpreting of imperfect sense data this world's a fictional world too, in one sense, and it's the one I choose to live in. So, toodaloo!